Hello everyone, this is Shane Norman with Graco. Today I'm going to show you how to change the hose on your LDX hose reel. The process is the same for all of our different models. Before starting this task, make sure you follow the pressure relief procedure that's listed in your manual. The tools we need are a small C-clamp, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, a 22 millimeter wrench, and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. The first step in this procedure is to pull out all of the old hose. Now with all the old holes pulled out and the hose reel engaged with its ratchet, we are then going to add a C-clamp to the spool. We add a C-clamp to the spool just in case the ratchet was to disengage to keep the hose reel from freely retracting on its own. Now our next step is to remove the hose stop from the old hose. And now you can measure the distance of your old hose stop to the end of the hose so that way you know exactly where to place it on your new hose if you like. To remove the hose stop we need to loosen and remove the two screws and nuts that hold the hose stop clamshell together. Now that the hose stop is removed we can go ahead and remove the old hose from the swivel. And now you can notice that the position that I have the hose reel stopped in is not easy to get a wrench onto the swivel fitting. So I'm now going to remove that C-clamp holding the spool, disengage the ratchet, and re-engage it in another location that I have clear access to that swivel fitting. Then I'm going to reinstall my C-clamp, and then take my 22 millimeter wrench and loosen the hose fitting. Now that's loose, you can then remove the hose strain relief with a 10 millimeter socket. Save that for the new hose. Remove the strain relief clamp from the hose, and then remove the old hose from the hose reel assembly. Now, once we're ready to install our new hose, we're first going to reinstall our hose stop. So if you had taken a measurement of, of your old hose stop, now is a good time to mark on the new hose where you would like the hose stop to be placed. Then you need to make sure to install the hose stop clamshell so that that way the angled surface is pointing away from the outlet of the hose. You can just hold the little nuts of the hose stop in with your finger and tighten the screws. With the five millimeter Allen wrench, tighten both sides firmly. Now we're ready to install the other side of the hose onto the hose reel. So we'll first make sure we go back through the hose guide, around the spool, through the opening of the spool, and then reattach the fitting to the swivel housing. We'll then take our 22 millimeter wrench and tighten. hose fitting and then reinstall the strain relief hose clamp. Tighten the hose clamp nut with the 10 millimeter socket. And once both of those are tight, we can then remove the C-clamp from the spool. Now we're ready to place the new hose back onto the spool. So disengage the ratchet and slowly retract the hose onto the spool. 
Now's a good time to make sure that the hose does not stack funny on the spool. Make sure that's evenly distributed along the spool. And that's how you change the hose on your LDX hose reel.